How's it going, everybody? My name is Gabe Rubin, and I'm a product manager here at BuildOps. And I'm going to be showing you our drawings tool, all of the recent supercharging that we've done to the tool to really make it that much more valuable. So coming in here, uh, we've done a lot of things to try and you know, improve some of these workflows. So one thing we can do is anytime we make a markup now, it is going to know exactly who made that markup, whether you do this on web or mobile. And why this is important is uh, not just so you can see a history of what's happened here, but also we now default any markups that you make are private markups. So you wanna make a markup, you wanna show it, uh, you just wanna keep it as a note for yourself or Maybe you got to confirm some things before you want to share it with the team. Now uh, it starts out as private, and then when you're ready to give it and make it show up on everybody else's drawing, we can go ahead and publish this. So you'll only see your private markups will only be seen by you until you're ready to share them. The next th piece that we've got here is our ability to link to any file in BuildOps. So you can link to a file on your project or in your global folder, anything that you want to show up on the drawing. Where this is really useful is maybe you've got your uh, submittal in here. Maybe I want to put my transformer submittal right into my drawing. Yep, that's the one I want. So I can go ahead and link that in here. And so what will happen is now this is going to be tied to that markup that we've got here. And anytime the field is kind of coming in and they want to, um, they need to go ahead and see what we've got, then we can go ahead and open it up. And that submittal is going to be immediately available on their uh, drawing. So this is on the mobile side, on the web side. Um, it allows you to connect things like submittals or your RFIs or uh, photos or anything that you've got on the project that is important documentation. You can put it right on the drawing so it's there when the field is out there, you know, trying to build uh, what we got to build. And then lastly, what we have here is our ability to compare different drawings or uh, different revisions. So I only have a single revision in here, but if I wanted to, I could compare two of the same revision. I know for myself, I, I found on projects, uh, sometimes things get added and they don't get captured in an ASI or something. Um, so I can make sure to get a, a change order to capture this. Or um, maybe I just wanna overlay uh, my power plan with my lighting plan. And so I can go ahead and do this and it will come in and, and Overlay these, we'll see one in blue, one in red, and anywhere that the same is, is black. So this is helpful for me to see it all in one place, see what's going on. So that's everything. Thank you, everybody. Let us know if you have any feedback, and uh, love to talk to you soon.